see what I do. This is for a two loaf recipe. Eight cups of flour, <clears throat> half cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt. And I'm gonna put caraway seeds in there, but I incorporate each ingredient each time with the whisk. Every time I add the ingredient and I incorporate it in the dry boy to get a nice even blend here for this soda bread. So now I'm gonna put the caraway seeds in here. You can use zero to three tablespoons. I use about two, I think it's pretty good. So, um, just gives it extra flavor. Uh, and then what I'll do, hmm, okay. I'm gonna take the cap right off. incorporate this and then what I'll do after I get this in I'll put two sticks of butter in here with a pastry cutter I think they call it I'll just uh, put this back in. So I'm gonna incorporate this as I do it so this is the dry blend now buttermilk I'm gonna take out which I <clears throat> I do make most of it myself, but some I buy too, but uh, I'm going to work this out. And I'm going to get the buttermilk out to warm it up a little bit, and, <clears throat> and then we'll do the uh, the wet blend, which is, uh, <clears throat> let me read it right here. I'm going to I'm gonna show this too. I'm going to cut two things of butter in here, clean my hands, olive oil, and just work it into the blend. So it looks like a, almost a granulation, not a granulation, but it's worked in there. And I got, uh, and then after that's all done, I'll add the two cups of raisins. You can add currants if you want to, instead of this. Do that. Then on the side, you see in my other video, <clears throat> butter my glass dish, coat it with cornmeal, then I'll have Three cups of buttermilk, two eggs, and two teaspoons of uh, baking soda. And that'll be good. And then I'll save one egg to kind of coat the bread. But we'll get back to you. Maybe I'll show you when I'm slapping it around a little bit. And I always bake, preheat the oven 375. Check it after an hour, 15 minutes. Depends on the size of your loaf. Um, that's that's pretty good, Nick. It can go longer, but... Uh, Check it after an hour, 15 minutes, so. But, uh, I'll have this for you. I got an apron on here, too. It's Quinias Mofero, I'll get back to you. It's the pastry cutter I used to, I, I cut that butter up in pieces, and then chopping them with this, and then I rub it with my hands. <clears throat> so before I continue putting the, Butter in a dry blend. This is, uh, we got this from uh, King Arthur. It's uh, see Bedford Creek Pottery, Bedford, Virginia. A little stone. It's a little smaller than I, I use it the last time I made stuff. Made some the other day. And uh, I normally used two glass Pyrex containers, but now I'm using this. So now I'm going to rub the butter in here and then put the uh, cornmeal on there. So, watching the birds out there with the snow's coming but anyway so yeah so put the butter on there and I cornmeal there I try to sprinkle on the side then I pick it up and over this and just move it around so I'm totally covered with the cornmeal and you want to get the top of the rim too just in case the, the bread goes over a little bit you don't want it to stick there so that's very important so you get your your bread out nice so that's what we're doing. So now I'm gonna go back over here. <clears throat> so I got the butter book. I got a little Cousinart knife here, which is good for like cheese or butter or whatever you want. And uh, it does have a 90 degree spine too. I can throw a spark off it too. So full tank. There you go. And uh, works pretty good. So <clears throat> I'm gonna. Get this in, 
with the cutter. I'm all done with this. Well, I'm not done with this. I use this for the, uh, when I whisk the egg or any other wet operation. But uh, yeah, and then I'll, I'll put this in there. So I'm gonna work on this and uh, I'll be set. So five o'clock somewhere. Well, at 12 noon, it'd be five o'clock in Ireland. And traditionally, sometimes when you're making this, you have, you know, a pint of Guinness or so, but, uh, which I have, but uh, not quite five yet. But uh, I'll get this going, got the oven preheated, 375. <clears throat> but I'm gonna get this ready, get that in there ham work in here, add your ingredients and then slap it around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna work this more, I'll get back to So what I'm doing here, I got uh, two cups, one cup. I'll whisk the eggs up first. And, uh, Cakes as a starter, but I made that buttermilk myself uh, <clears throat> just the other day. And what I had in there to start it with. So next to the wood stove a little bit, 24 hours. Tastes real nice, actually. Pretty mellow. Buttermilk, um, my buttermilk is Kate's as a starter. That she makes good stuff too, or the company, whatever. Three cups all together, but I raise it a little higher because I have the egg in there. Mm. May have to just do a hair more. We'll see. Got some other stuff too. But, uh, I'm gonna mix this a little bit. And then I'm going to put the baking soda in here. Now, one thing what you don't want to do, let me turn this up a little bit. What you don't want to do is put the baking soda in there ahead of time, put the stuff aside. It might bubble over. So don't do that. It could warm your ingredients up. Then I have an egg on the side for the top there, but I'm going to incorporate this with strong spoon, one of my stronger spoons that I made. <clears throat> then I'm going to take uh, two teaspoons of the baking soda. It doesn't have to be exact. Just throw it in there. Check your ingredients, make sure you got everything going there. You know? Now, just for your information, one time I did screw up again and I added the baking soda to the dry blend and the baking powder to the wet blend. By mistake. Did it come out good? It came out good. So, that's what's going on here. I'm gonna get my, uh, Shut this off in a second. I'm gonna mix it up really good here. But, uh, okay. 
Okay. So I'll put aside, I'm gonna make some more buttermilk. This is out, so I may have to use some other cultured buttermilk for a starter. There's still a little residual in here, which is fine too, so it'll be all right. And uh, then we'll use this stuff for Dom, you know. I'm slapping that stuff around there a little bit. Okay, get back to you. Um, my uh, strong maple spoons that I made for kitchen spoon here. But yeah, I'm just gonna add this in there. I'm just gonna dump it right in there. Save one of these uh, things here for, uh... oh, look at this. You see what I'm talking about? Now I just left this for a few seconds. So see how it's overflowing? I wanna show you that, okay? That's what I was talking about. And I mean, that was just a, a very short time. So, just to let you know, careful with that. So, yeah. Now I'm just going to mix this up, but uh, I'm glad it kind of overflowed a little bit. I mean, just in that short time, just to let you know that that happens. It wasn't too bad. I got a few drops on there, but uh, I'm just going to mix this up. You don't want to add too much liquid, and it might be tough to work with, but uh, and this is King Arthur flour. I'm not sure what raisins, uh, it's a brand name raisin, I'm not sure what it is though, at the time. But uh, yeah, make sure you get the bottom, incorporate everything as much as possible. This will take a while to mix up, and then I kind of get it all together, and I work it a little bit. And then um, slap it around a little bit with the olive oil. So I get back to you. Okay, so here comes the fun part now. Um, I'm gonna work this a little bit. I'm gonna put some uh, olive oil on there. Bertoli right there. That's what we usually keep it in. So I'm just gonna Put a lot of this on my hands and I'm going to work this in and uh, does it make a difference I think it does I think the olive oil really does something to give it a little extra flavor instead of just other stuff but uh, yeah now I'm gonna slap this around a bit and I'll cut this in half when I'm uh, done with it so we're getting there we're getting there now you can uh, work it in a little bit pour a little more olive oil in your hands I'm gonna put that on your knife when you're cutting it too so yeah see so the olive oil is getting on there it's getting in there I think that makes a difference in, you know it's multinational you know a little Italian olive oil down from Long Island, he's down in Florida now. And all you people in the Bronx around O'Neill's funeral home. You know, I love the Irish and Italian over there, still, I think. My daughter in law's family's from there. There's a couple people from there, too. Well, a little dryness on the bottom there. I have to incorporate that a little bit. So what we can do about that. Oh yeah. Get a little olive oil up. Uh, incorporate that a bit. Let that stuff a little bit. Here yeah, we go. It's snowing out there. What's gonna happen with the storm? Oh man, it's nasty out there though. Pretty, pretty though. Oh yeah. I think we got all the 
dry stuff there, dried one. Let's throw a little more on my hands. So now what I'm gonna do, put this aside. I'm not gonna cut it in half because one, one bowl is a little shorter than the other. So now I'll get my knife. And, uh, which I should have got before. You know, I could shut this off. Hmm. One side is bigger than the other because of my new uh, stoneware bowl. Still breaking it in, but it's working fine. We're fine the last time I made it, which is after the last video I showed you. Okay, so increase these up a little bit and oil them up a little bit. So I'm gonna gather that, gather that. Hopefully, it's the right size and I'm going to take this and I don't think I'm going to be able to see if my hands are all messed up but uh, take this put it in the bowl same thing here upgrade this and I put a little traditional cross in it could be a St. Brennan's cross or just a regular cross And I'll uh, put some egg over it. We'll do that over here in a minute. But yeah, this is good, man. in here. I oil the knife up a bit. A little cross in here. Little Brennan's cross here. I'm just going to pour a little dig that I whisked up to the cracks, get in there and rub it on the, the bread itself. Yeah. The dough, whatever. Ooh, that's a little drip down there a little too much. It's okay. We'll incorporate it in there. hands are very clean and constantly washing them so and here we go so now I'm going to put this into the oven and we'll see how it comes out I'm very optimistic okay I'm going to put this into the oven. Okay. Got my tea that's on the wood stove. Get back to you. So while this is cooking, I have a nice cup of tea. 